in the correct directory, right? Yeah, I am. All right, lads. We shall continue the tales of Yoris the Tourist. Um, Yoris the Tourist, level 14, mutated human scholar in roleplay mode, so I can save at towns, is what this playthrough is. Um, and we are going to go buy some grenades. That is why we are here. After I grab some food, because my dude's hungry. And also after I preserve my fresh foods. And we get 11 heat resist and reflexive damage. I didn't like... No, I didn't take my armor off. Hey, I need to clean my armor. We should do that. Uh, pretty fucking good. Chat's been absurdistly generous today. Bobtron. Pretty fucking good. Uh, where's the... Grenade store. I need the Boom Boom Shop. Uh, good for me. Not great for Chat's wallet, though. Chat's wallet's significantly lighter today. It's okay. We got him again, boys. Well, there's, there's the gun store. You've got... I kind of want that jewel-encrusted desert rifle, but... Orange, thanks for gifting a sub to Bobtron. Yeah, bits definitely don't cost real money. Definitely do. They ab I absolutely do. I don't... I'm not going to say otherwise, because that would be false information. False information in a marketplace is dangerous. Um... Ah, there's our explosive sign. You're the guy I gotta speak with. All right, let's just, just that. I need to remind myself the right hotkeys for this game. Okay. Um. Don't really need the torches, which can take some money off of this. I could also just sell the emergency services security card. I don't actually need that. I just had it because it um, was in my inventory, but I have a skill that negates its use. Two seventy-seven. Plastic tree isn't worth anything. Uh, Chat, can I get a round of beers for everybody's generosity and Orange is gifting a sub to Bob? You headed to bed, crosslord? You're headed to bed. We'll see you when we see you. Mm. Yep. You know, actually, I don't need any of those arrows because I'm not even using that. Uh, I can just make chem cells. I think what would be better is just selling the boar jerky. There we go. Uh, pony up one dram of water to even up the trade. Yep. Thanks for all the artifacts. So the artifacts, lad. Um, stun grenade. Acid grenade. EMP grenade. Defoiling grenade. I'm learning how to make all of these now. Sleep gas grenade. Excellent. More defoil. Airfoil defoiling grenade. Flashbang grenade MK2. And a resonance grenade. All right. I kind of was hoping. You got a sub. I don't even know who's gotten a what, because my it's today's, today's been a day. Today's been a day. All right. So we we can probably. What else do you have? A freeze and a thermal? I'd like to know what those two weird artifacts are. Those are what? 
could sell you the glow sphere, all the wire strands. Get all this stuff out of my inventory. We really need it. Um. I'm never going to use the spine fruit jam when cooking because it's kind of annoying to cook with and quidzu stems are easy to find for that. All right. Let's see what we got. High explosives. Those are what I was looking for. Excellent. Now I know how to make high explosive grenades. Um, means now I can go over here. And high explosive grenades. I have everything I need. I'm going to tinker up a bunch of these. Because these are what I need. How many high explosive grenades do I have now? A bunch, probably. 17. Excellent. And equip. I mean, did you have fun? Like that that that's the hope at the very least. Like I hope at the very least you had fun, Orange. Alright. Um Yuckwheat. Honey. We have It's time to go do Golgatha. So if you've never seen Golgatha, we're starting off with Golgatha. Golgatha is the current quest line that we need to go down to. Travel to Golgatha, um, to the Great Cave Golgatha in the north of Grit Gate. Find a dysfunctional way droid, repair the right way droid, and return to Grit Gate. Those are, that is what we need to do for this quest. Oh, and I swell with inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal, which I'm going to immediately do. I'm going to choose ingredients to cook with, which is excellent. We're going to use fermented yuckwheat stem and honey. You only get ill for one-tenth of the usual time. Tourists sweetened rice with medicine. All right, so we've eaten our meal. I'm not going to quickly cook another meal. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. We are going to... Move in to fight. Let's sting you. He resists my venom. How rude. Force bubble. Hit him crit I got a critical hit on him and it barely even hurt him. I have nothing equipped, like what the fuck? Oh, it's because I've got a solar cell in this hand. Well, I'm fighting with my offhand, that's why. There we go, now I'm actually hitting you again. You had fun once you got here, but the rest of the day sucked ass. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, throw a grenade at you. There you go. Finally finished killing you. Or by dagger, I can get that. I gotta heal up. Let's just sneak through this door. Close that. And we're going to wait and heal up. Control switch controls a pair of buttons, which opens and closes that door. I 
actually don't know if jumping into this is going to kill me. I've never jumped into this one. I've only ever used the ones on the sides. Let's find out. Uh, no. Yeah, I think that one does kill me. All right, so let's just jump into one of these. <laughs> Swell with inspiration to cook another mouth-watering meal. Let's, uh... Get through Golgatha. And, uh... Kill a sludgy brown gel. Let's jump over to this, and let's... Turn on sprint so that we move faster. And sprint through the sludge. Oh, Jesus. Gotta get around you. I'm going to turn on my bubble. Uh, begin healing. And just keep moving. That's quite the explosion. Alright, fall down into the next area. You're off to bed. You have a good night, Zygrom. Alright, what do we have in front of us? Not much from the looks of things. We're moving through the goop. I'll take second place with how mental oranges. Yeah, that's that's completely understandable. Zychrom. Thanks for all your generosity though. Doesn't matter like if someone else won you up. Just thanks for your generosity. Alright, we move down a layer. Fortunately it didn't impale me. Kill the Sagla knot. Got him. I'm actually just going to throw a grenade into the middle of this. Um, unlock that. And throw another grenade right there. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, hey, you teleported me somewhere more convenient, actually. Killed another Aguanaut. How long until I can force bubble again? Not for a while. Need some Witchwood Bark. And now we're at the bottom. Cool. Hell yeah, Rari. And took you away from the edge of glory. I mean, sometimes streamers need high stakes bit wars to um, keep the stream funded. That's kind of a fact. So now we're on the base level. We've still got these Aguanauts, which is beneath the umbra of a stinking robe. Flesh smears over the bones of a girl who surrenders her body to the metamorphic Newman. There's two of them. And then up here... We have a scrapped way droid. I'm just going to kill these two. Or try to kill these two. Go back down to the witchwood bark. Eat our last piece of witchwood. Which confuses and heals me. Can I sprint yet? Not for another 19 turns. Which means now I can throw a grenade like right there. Which killed one of them. And killed a second one. I don't really want to fight against an army of things. Let's kill this beetle. Third artifact. A force bracelet, eh? Take the force bracelet from the chest. You are knocked prone. You stand up. Something hit me. 
Aha. There she is. Sludgy Slog of Cloaca. The colossal slug known as, the, as Slog presides over its fetid domain of Cloaca. It bathes its bloated slimy body in moiling pools of dross, keeping itself moist and waiting for fresh prey to be corned into its lair, whereas nature had the decency to end the body of the common slug in a muscular foot. The slog's tail is instead sphishiker choked bile hose that uses its spew as its prey in the filth of the cloaca. Loved by mollusks, hated by everybody else, more or less, for various reasons, for insulting their survivors and for leading a raiding party against one of their camps. Regardless, that's what we need. We need a dysfunctional wade word, which actually gives us a level up, which is awesome, and gives me a genome excitement. Ooh, excellent. Um, I could just make myself really fucking fast, which is kind of what I want to do. But I feel like the stinger would be significantly more helpful at this point. Let's take that. Um, I also have a mutation point, which I'm going to put into electrical generation. And I have an attribute point I'm going to put into intelligence. Yes. Um. Ow. Let's force bubble and back up, too. Throw a grenade at it. Throw another grenade at it. Doesn't really do much. Okay, that hurt. That hurt it. Let's back up a little more. My reputation with mollusks decreases significantly. My reputation with the villagers of Quilketh increased by 195. Kickish likes me more too. All right, so we just killed the the boss monster in this area. So now I'm gonna quickly, oh, well, I'm gonna kind of stand here until this disappears. Actually, I could just, what? oh shit. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly cook a meal. I'm going to cook my medicine meal. Find some materials. Um, now I'm going to buy through my inventory. I think actually, let's let's just get out of here. Let's jump to the. Uh, I did grab the way door, didn't I? <laughs> Grabbed way door. There it is. Can I repair you? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Um, let's. Actually, let, let's just repair it. And then we're going to teleport back. Jack, can I get a couple more beers? That one dollar from Zychrom at the end there. Um, I'm going to use the Grit Gate recoil. Oh, we can't actually use it. Yeah, I can um, install cell, chem cell, activate, can't recoil with hostiles. Nope. And I'm transported. And we made it out safely.
uh, scrolling down in here, I'm going to... Oh. Blech. I'm poisoned, apparently. Poison begins to abate, but you still feel nauseous. No longer feel nauseous. Good. Whew. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to cook one more ingredient, one more thing from a recipe. And I'm going to go into my inventory again. Um, and we are going to go all the way down to the broken, scrapped way droid. I'm going to repair it. Have you completed the task? Yes. Slot opens at the center of the door, and a bright light shines through. Several minutes pass. You may enter, but simply walk through the force barrier and make your first two lefts and speak to the steward Otho in his office. I don't know why I've given that character a lisp, but... Welcome to one of my one of my favorite environments in this game. This is one of my favorite environments in Caves of God. Just just period. I love this whole area. This whole zone's lovely. Also, I'm stealing all of their apples and all of their food. Apparently, there's an, an engraving on this phase with some history. It tells the story of how in 3474 BR, Ishrir III ra ravaged all, Col all of Colosseum District, Shapa, soldiering together the children of Pariahs and Saverdim, and he became known as the Bane of Shapa. As we run around and explore all of their bedrooms. Because, you know, we're good people, right? It's not weird unless they make it weird. We're a scholar. We're studying. Shush. Grabbing a beer real quick? Gotcha, gotcha. I might actually grab a water in a minute. <laughs> oh, well, I can't use those anyway. Sure, am I allowed to take these? Guess so. I say that just because I'm running out of coffee. And I am now out of coffee. <laughs> I didn't realize that you could walk beneath this area. Oh. I'm supposed to talk to people down here, but instead I'm beating up crabs in their basement. You're friendly, though. Hmm. That's interesting. You're not. Why is that one friendly? Okay, now you're not friendly. Still good XP though. Sorry. Yeah, no, there's friendly electrofuges down here. That's interesting. I've never come down here before in any run I've ever done. This is actually all new to me. No, not my friendly electro feud. You, you know, killed. You killed my friend. Prepare to get zappeded. All right. Well, let's head back up.
So, chat, there's going to be a lot of dialogue in the next little bit. Bizarre contraption. Hello, Dark Sora. All right. Actually, hold up before I do this. Loved by the Varath Mikes, disliked by a bunch of different villagers. You have quills? Hmm. What do you have for trading? An Umbra frock? Resonance grenade, data disc? Welcome to Great Gate. I'm Otho, Baratham Steward. I apologize for the manner of our introduction, but we must take precautions. Quite is very dangerous place. I'm pleased to see that you have returned with the way droid, though still know little of the dangers that you bear. Take this firearm as a reward. Uh, take this firearm as a reward. It bears the mark of our finest gunsmith. Spare a fossil. I didn't realize they had quills. I don't believe I've ever tried to fight with them, Shaga. Um... I've been here many times, but I've never actually, like, noticed that detail, I suppose. Um, return when you are ready to discuss the signal. I'm promoted to the rank of the apprentice, and I have a masterwork scoped carbine, which is part of the reason I didn't buy a gun. Iron. So, um, un unfortunately, McBoom Maker is going to need to get uh, retired permanently at this point. Uh, equip. Kind of just want to disassemble it because it's just a rifle, but... It's kind of sad that I can't deconstruct that. I'm stealing from there all the time. You horrible person! <laughs> you want to play Cuds so much? Why, why don't you, Dark Sword? Um, someone's sleeping. Can't talk to you just yet. Jam one. You're a Chromling that speaks. Can you understand me? Why are you called Shem One? Because it's not as cool as Shem. Like, wow, obviously. This is a. Is this a question or a trick? I, I suppose I cannot know what you intend. Can I understand you? Um, for anybody who's wondering, probably nobody. Hype trains are finally off cooldown. <clears throat> um, is 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 this a question? All right. Yeah. Um, I just meant to ask if you're able to communicate. Seems so. What kind words? It seems so with you, too. Why are you called Shem minus one? Would you like to hear? When I first was put back together by father and friends, I was Shem two. The second iteration of the Make Me Project. As I came along, I scampered through the halls and listened to stories of Neek Read Me. I climbed into the Sparafusil's workbench to have my screws replaced, and I realized I was not what I could be. And so I was down. I downgraded myself to Shem. I downgraded myself to Shem one. That happened three times. Are you worried that you're getting further and further away from your ideal self? It's unclear to me that I should be. I am your friend, Shem. I am your friend, Yuris the tourist. Live and remain ru ru ever rustless instead of live and drink, friend. <laughs> live and remain, Robit. <laughs> live and remain. Carry on, my wayward. Son. <laughs> oh no! Have you like reached out to the dev team at all about that, Dark Sora? Because like you should. Oh, I know, Orange. You've you've done too much today. Uh, drink deeply and rifle. Drink deeply of life, child. Are you finding your way? Your hair is so gray. How long have you lived in Great I feel like like your your player character is always an asshole. Are you a liquid tinker? 
You are sharp, you're a tourist. In a way, that's what I am. But liquids are more willful than scrap. I can't solder them together. They would run away and hide in shale cracks, slowly come apart and disappear. I more so think of myself as a wise woman. Dialogue with them. I manage their moods and phases. My notebooks are full of their quirks and carapaces. It's a wonder, isn't it? How, how at uh, just the right temperature and pressure, the consistency of matter is squished apart. The gaseous butterfly flits out of the dense worm. How long have you lived in Great, Great Gate? Years, decades of decades, centuries perhaps. Most of these wet-eared cubs were merely sketches in their mother's dream books when I arrived to study under Baratham. We knew so little then, and know so little now. It's probably just you being your PC being shit as usual, same as many other games. Oh, that sucks. I mean, SS thirteen runs like piss on all computers, though. Like it's just like shit down a like shallow slope. It just it doesn't quite slide fast enough. You tell me about the other Brathmites? Ooh. But didn't realize. I'm going to ask you about Shem 1. Shem minus 1. Press is Shem. They have such a wider view of the world than we do. What a momentous obligation we've created for ourselves. And how I wouldn't undo it. Let's go talk to some more people. Go talk to you. If you're awake. Oh, Q girl's up. Oh, never mind. You're still sleeping. Quidzel, quidzel, quidzel. Come to the workshop, my friend. What's that mean? It's a word I say out of excitement. A sort of semantic extension of the feeling I get when I see a quidzel. Oh, quidzel. Is a pretty bird in the in the, in the tro, tro, trogon trogon family. Uh, I tend to incorporate things I like into my idiolect. Your hair is a quasar of red, octur, and indic indigo. Uh, must be a hundred gadgets here. What are you working on? Oh, oh, quizzel. A wave shorter for a short wave detector. A frustum pulley for an ion lathe. A thrice retro threaded M band. Uh, she continues. A dissertation on the legitimacy of power. Thank you, thank you. What a poetic metaphor. You are a regular Shakespeare, you know. Complimented on the hair. Oh, I know. I, I, I've had that achievement for a while, Shogoth. All right, erm. Um, even drink, Tinker. Actually, who likes you in this world? Hated by baboons for questioning for questioning the legitimacy of their hate. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, disliked by the villagers of Ukesh for a queer appearance. Admired by the villagers of Shepad for developing quantum mechanical model. After the polyhedral rings, strange tubes, life loop. Weird artifact. Weird artifact. Weird artifact. <laughs> Plastifer sneakers. Fuck yeah. Um. No, I don't really want to share water with you. Nothing particularly useful here. Unless I want to sell stuff for a gem, so. Yeah, fair enough. Dark Sora. Uh, Shogoth, in general, I have, like, a pretty strict no backseating rule. Um, so if, if things pop up as an achievement or something, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Um, and if I do know, then I probably already, I've probably already done it. Like, yeah, this is a tourist run, and I, I acknowledge that I'm bad at this game, but I've, like, seen the majority of this content before. Yeah. It's all good, though. Everybody gets, like, one whoopsie. One's you. 
bad at names. The only character I ever really remember in this area is uh, the entry person and Q girl. Most memorable ones. Welcome to my laboratory, you the tourist. Rest and sustain yourself before returning to your travels. The smell from that oven is indescribable. Unsustainable. Um, that just reminded me of a song. What you smell is Great Gate's signature dish. Porridge is a recipe passed down through generations of Brathmites. And it's the food that inspired me to pursue my craft, yes? Outsiders quill at the intensity of the scent, or its flavor as bold as its effects. We use cuisine to channel lightning from our bodies. Other recipes may let us breathe fire or learn secrets of the eaters. The porridge is as precious part of our legacy as the Baratheum Clock, or the Fulminator. Uh, did you just call your kitchen your laboratory? You think it's a mere kitchen? <laughs> Although, to be fair, um, I, I also call my kitchen a laboratory sometimes. Uh, it certainly looks like a kitchen. I suppose the skillet in a modest, is a modest church. Uh, it's a great bazaar. A junk sale? Look, about you. Every instrument you see is a precision calibrated, every tool handcrafted, built to last. In this room, sustenance is ingen and ingenuity come together to evolve cuisine itself, to shape not this culture alone, but over time. Every culture is the kind of influence of the product of a kitchen. And can a simple clay oven in the flower fields do what we do here? Has every kitchen the in, you know, I'm just going to stop for a second here, chat. You know people on Reddit who get way too into a hobby who are just like, you haven't even started drinking coffee yet until you ground your beans the correct uh, size and uh, made sure that they, and like sifted out all of the extra powder from the edges and, uh, you know, like made your own coffee water. This is that person. Um... Is that kind of influence of the product of kitchen? Can a simple clay oven in the flower fields do what we do here? Has every kitchen the inelible influence over cut? He frowns. Should they? Should we not all? I'm lost. Chat, what? This is up to you. <laughs> One, two, three, or four. Which? What do we respond with? Yes, no, wait, I'm lost. One, yes, no, I'm lost. I'm pretty lost, to be, to be honest. I'm just going to go with three. Perhaps you are right, friend. Think for a moment. Every ingredient in the soup is of collective knowledge is a valuable one. Who am I to elevate myself over a more humble pioneers? But all the more reason for us to regard cuisine, and by extension culture itself, to be a scientific endeavor, an ongoing trial and error, a blending of what could of what we could know and what we don't know, calling upon reality itself to be our guide. You are more insightful than I realized you're as the tourist. Thank you for this discussion. Did you need uh, aught else? Did you need did you need aught else? I guess I didn't need anything else. Uh, live and drink, food tinkerer. All right, let's go get the next part of the quest. After I explore down this stairwell. Oh, it's locked. Damn it. Um, are you ready to discuss the signal? Yes. <clears throat> The signal is a repeat transmission being broadcast from an unknown source. The tinkerer must have detected it and then recorded it onto the data disk. You brought us. However, we've known about it since uh, it went live over a year ago. One of our tinkerers, Q-Girl, discovered it while, ri while rigging a long wave detector. Unfortunately, it's encrypted. We do not have the means to decrypt it. You may be of some help to us in this matter, however. We've long known the location of the fully functioning Betel within the bow within the bowels of the Great Hall Bethesda Susa. Mechanists have cons con 
conscruted, consecrated, consecrated the site and built a temple there. Q girl claims to have developed a means to decrypt the signal, but she needs the computing power of the beetle. If you can infiltrate the mechanist compound, you may be able to engage the beetle and decode the signal. So I need, I think it's cold protection to get in there, if I remember correctly. Uh, <clears throat> they are antique stones located in certain places deep within the caverns of Cud. We believe they are some sort of hyper-advanced machines built by the eaters. Psst, chat their computers. Um, often, one claims to possess science of its own. However, most of them have gone haywire in the eons since their creation. Blue screen of death, it's a big problem. Uh, it is rare indeed to discover one of those circuitry wholly uncorroded. Or maybe it's like a red ring of death situation. This <laughs> isn't the real cuisine, the friends we made along the way. Your grandma would beat you for doing things in the kitchen? I'm so sorry. Uh, do you believe that you can accomplish this task? Yes, I do. Good. Speak to Q-Girl in the workshop. She'll encode her instructions uh, onto a copy of the disc. And there's one more thing. Betel is located beneath the ancient cryo barrios of the Eaters. Time has worked to erode the mechanisms that contain their cryogenic mist. That freezing vapor, yeah, that's what I was talking about, billows out of the chambers freely now, cooling the entire cavern. You'll need to procure some warm clothing to protect yourself. The spoils of the mechanists are yours to keep. Remember, apprentice, Baratham will look kindly upon your service. Decoding the signal. Back to Q-Girl. Oh, you know it. Oh, I mean, one antique at a time, naturally. Did you go back to sleep, Q-Girl? God damn it. <laughs> I have to wait till morning next to you. Wait until morning. I stopped resting because I was hungry. Just go to the electric oven and get some food. Eat the porridge. We should eat the porridge, chat. Plus three to saves versus disease. Whenever you eat an unfermented yuckweed stem, you release electronical discharge. Are you talking about the character in the game, Dark Sora? He's definitely talking about a computer in the depths. Because Cut is a post, 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 post apocalypse, right? And the, the things that they're referring to are definitely computers that they use for decoding. Get up, you lazy shits. There you go. God damn it, you went back to sleep. Wake up. Hocho informs me that you have a method of decoding the signal. Can you encode your instructions for the battle on this disc? I'll do, brave friend. I'll imprint them now. Done. Receive a stamped data disc. And we got Q-Girl's instructions. Excellent. Time to uh, go to a completely different quest unrelated to what I was just talking to them about. <laughs> Um, we also have a bunch of attribute points to spend. I now have Spicer, which is my final cooking skill. Um, I can now do Reverse Engineer. Whenever you disassemble an item, you have a 25% chance how to learn how to build the item. Don't actually need that because I have a, I have, um, a skill that lets me do that naturally. Um, missile weapons, lay mines, lay mines, set bomb. 
Tinker 2. You know, I think I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to wait for that. We're going to wait for another level up and grab Tinker 2. Yes, I would like to move up. Past, like, the wall of corpses that I created earlier. As played it merely as a sandbox. Oh, I get you. I get you. Yeah, this um, this actually is a roleplay playthrough, which is their one of their new tourist tourist modes, air quotes. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because of this area. This whole area is new, and I know for a fact I'm not good enough to like finish the game. Like I can play it as a sandbox and get to level 15 no problem and have a good grand old time, but I'm not good enough to actually like finish the story quest. Um, playing it as a proper roguelike. So this is me kind of taking advantage of their role play um, mode, which lets you save at towns, just so I can see some of the later game quests that I've never seen before. And also because I would like to see the new content, which was added um, with the Palladium Reef update. So this, last time I came to, the, well, one of the first times I ever came to this town, I walked in and the shopkeeper immediately tried to kill me, threw a bomb at me, and I one-shot him, and then took all of his stuff. Uh, because I managed to piss off the shopkeeper's faction <laughs> earlier on. There's a hammock! I'm going to uh, take a nap in the hammock. This is a very good game. All right, um, I'm gonna go find some foods. After I speak with you. Live and drink, traveler. Live and drink, traveler. Welcome to my village. Itilak Takayuka. Taco I, I always want to just call it Takoyaki, but I, I know that's not how you actually say it. Kayak, ka, bleh. Kayak, yeah, or however the fuck you're supposed to say that, uh, is spoken in the native tongue. How might I serve you? Are you an albino ape? Indeed I am. Why do you call it your village? I am its mayor. I have been for some time. You see, years ago, I deserted my tribe. We were of two different minds. They decided to do nothing but bludgeon everything to death. Well, I asked... What is the nature of this thing we bludgeon? Or the act itself? Recognizing that my answers lay elsewhere, I cast myself upon the byroads of Cud as a lovesick sailor. Casts a bottle that bears its sonnets upon the surf, hoping I'd be guided towards the wisdom I sought by my desire to seek it. Um, I don't know if I myself would be particularly useful at beta testing because I am um, exceptionally fucking busy, but if you uh, want to keep my attention about things, um, feel free to post about it in the roguelikes room on my Discord. And uh, once it's in a beyond beta testing state that's playable and functional, I'd be interested in taking a peek at it for sure. But I'm not particularly interested in beta testing, beta testing, because I don't really have much free time. Some years later, 20 ago, I came upon a mushroom huts and their provincial inhabitants. These are a goody and simple people. I was charmed by the warmth in which they welcomed me. Surely I owed my acceptance at first to the continuance um, that and I share with their mighty god, but they soon grew to love me, and I them. And I have remained here ever since, in contemplation of those questions that first stirred me all of those years ago. There work around here. A soldier of fortune, I see. Well, my friend, Warden Indrix, will, uh, you will find him patrolling the village. Let's go speak with the Warden. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of where I'm at. It's like, I, I generally just, like, politely say no when people ask me if I want to beta test their game. I'm just going to steal all of their water. Ooh, a secret. Um, and the, the reason I just, like, kind of just kind of shrug it off is because quite literally like I, I'm not a very good person for beta testing I'll play your game for 10 minutes and be like yep that seems neat maybe I'll check it out later but I don't really have time to beta test you know so I kind of I stream 8 to 10 hours a day and then after that I'm doing editing for other things it's like if, if I beta tested every game that I was sent an offer to beta test I, I'd, be, I'd be here all year but there's probably some people in my discord that might be interested in having a peek uh, the brain slew was braided into rope lattice saddle or swinging between two old oaks and napping in 3BR, Gyre widened, and the first triad of plagues afflicted the land. The water was poisoned with salt. The gershlings ravaged the fruit and the wheat, and the tongues rotted away in the mouths of kin and kin. Seft walked below the chrome arches of the sick. Yeah, we now have another history.
I wonder who likes the ape mayor, actually. I need to find that out. Oh, there's Warden Indrix. Liked by... You're admired by the village of... Hated by the goat folk for the reason he won't share. I like that. Hated by goat folk for a reason he won't share. All right. Um, yeah, this is the shopkeeper that tried to kill me. It's a plant. Yarl! Friend, guns, knives, hats, cucumbers. Uh, trade. What do you got? What you got? My dude. I got a lot of heavy stuff. We got cucumbers. That that part is fact. I don't want that carbide armor. Jewel encrusted spectacles and a headlamp. Neat. Didn't actually buy anything though. Um let's go back to exploring. Uh, there is, you, you can take those secrets that you get from getting history. Certain secrets have certain NPCs that you can talk to, and they will give you f experience for finding the historical secrets. Um, like for Recef, if I go back, whenever you find one for that particular person, there's a person in the, in, in the, um, at the top of the desert, um, who, if you talk to, um, and tell them your secrets about that person, uh, you get m multiplied XP every time. So the first time you do, you get 200. Then you get, then you get, I think it's 400, and then 800, and then 1,000, and then 5,000, etc. Uh, we'll just whip up a meal. What exotic foods can I preserve? Uh, yuckweed, please. Yes. 15 servings of yuckweed stem. Excellent. Um. Let's talk to Warden Indrex. Make haste, traveler. I'm in search of work. Grrr! There is one task I do know to offer. It's the most treacherous, and it, in all likelihood you will perish. Is your interest waned? Continue. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wrong one. Nah. I am in search of work. No, continue. Uh, there is a river just north of the village that runs eastwardly course into the jungle. Along its bank lies Goat Folk Village. There resides a mighty shaman, Madame Soul Drinker. He is in possession of a talisman, great power, an, an, am an amaranthine prism that reflects the psyche of its handler. In much the same way as Mayor Nantu has explained to me, a common prison refracts light. The thing is cursed, Traveler. No man nor goat may safely wield it for long. You must travel to the village and retrieve the prism from Manon by any means necessary. Do you understand? Uh, why don't you retrieve it yourself? Because, traveler, Manon is my elder brother, and he would discern my presence before I could strike. There is, firstly, Manon will have several goat folk under his en enthrallment. They will likely protect him at all costs. Secondly, take care to stay out of Manon's reach. For his power is most potent when he may lay hands on you. Firstly, once you recover the prism, do not, under any circumstances, wield it. I needn't warn you of the consequences. Should you return it to me, bearing that charm? Is that all? Are you willing? I've done both completions of this quest. I've worn it and gotten the achievement. Called Do It. Um. I still haven't found one of my starting quest. Finished one of my starting quests, which is kind of funny. Uh, travel to the Goat Folk Village and find that. What? So wait. Hold up. Where do I find him again? Just south. Oh, they moved it. It was north previously. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. 
was like, I don't see a road. Well, there's the, it literally is just south. Huh. Interesting. Time to follow the river to the east. Right with these little dudes. Not bad. Let's just throw a grenade. Right there. I'm just like gunning everything down in here. I'm too strong to be in this area. Also, chat, if you're having trouble following or curious about what anything is or what I'm doing, please ask questions and I will do my best to respond. Give you accurate responses. I really wish that this game came with like a dictionary of how to pronounce half the words in it. Because there's a lot of really beautiful words in this game that I have no idea how to pronounce. That is a problem. There's a lot of lag. What the fuck just happened? Oh, I got dazed. That's what happened. Okay. Let's just kill you. They can't really do enough damage to effectively kill me, though. <laughs> or efficiently kill me. Because those guys are pretty weak. I'm just over here covered in blood. Don't mind me. What's your current hundo game, Squag? What you're working through? And have you um, tried that new Dorf Romantic patch at all? That's a lot of dead. charge off you. I just turned cut on. Um, pretty good, I would think. We finished Golgotha and didn't get sick. Picked up a new quest and now we're in the Goat Folk or just out or heading to go do the um, Goat Folk Prism quest. Pretty good one, which is where I need to go retrieve an amulet, basically. Got a new fancy gun, which is nice. Crafted a ton of grenades. I'm just, you know, covered in the blood of my enemies. Pretty normal Thursday things. Oh, Sock Pop. Sock Pop's wonderful. I, um, I supported them on Patreon for a little bit and then realized I didn't have enough time to play all of their games. Because um, Sock Pop will send you keys for their games on itch. Um, Once every two, because they make a game every two weeks, right? Every two weeks they make a game. Um, and you can just get all of the keys for all of their games on itch if you uh, give them money on Patreon. It's like three bucks a month or, or six bucks a month or something. But like I, I, I couldn't actually play all of the games that they were sending me. Choose ingredients to cook with. Just cook with some jerky made it into a custom meal but yeah let, let me know if there's any uh from sock pop that you like because 
I don't own very many of their games these days, but I do like the ones that I have played in the past, but it's been a while. But yeah, I would highly recommend if you, if you like the stuff that they make, definitely look into supporting them on Patreon. Um, um, force bubble? What? Ra, the stargazer shot. I've never seen a goat folk shaman under my mind before. Also, I'm extremely low. Um, I'm going to give myself a salve injector, which is going to heal me. Okay, so who's doing that? It's this guy. that even injure you? Yes, it did. Um, give myself another one of these. extra turn of that. Do I not have any more grenades left? What? Equip that. As you are the person I need to be hitting. Badly wounded. Hopefully this does it. There you go. Killed him. And my reputation with the goat folk uh, decreased by a lot. And I'm now despised by them. It's, it's fine. They hated me already. The urchins hate me even more too. Svardim. It likes me a little bit more, but they still hate me. Well, that hurt a whole lot. And I'm apparently fleeing in fear. That was a kind of scary fight, actually. I'm actually, just because I'm here, I'm just going to jump up here and dive back down, start that walk over, um, and then heal from back here. That was terrifying. That was absolutely hor like horrifying. Let's go do that again. That was like, what, three tiles away? Just killed a legendary goat folk person? Apparently there's a chest just right there. Gold nugget! Oh my god, and a floating glow sphere. Hell yeah. I know of a floating glow sphere. Die, rando soldier. Gold nugget's pretty valuable too. Let's kill the electric snail and sting you. That's a good amount of XP. But how was your dinner, Audio? I think that's what you went to go do. This was where that fight just happened that I ran away from at the end. I'm just going to make some high explosives real quick. And uh, then I'm going to dive down here. It was fine, nothing special. I gotcha. Oh, shit, I was gonna do that. Uh, manual. Put it in my left hand. There we go. So I'm now du dual wielding these.
But yeah, I now have a gold nugget. Those are pretty valuable. That's not bad. Pretty happy about that. Just finding a random ass gold nugget. Let's discharge. I'm gonna just shoot you to death. There is a fire pit here. Actually, cook from recipe. My beef jerky. Or my bear jerky, rather. Nyom. That is a lot of goat folk right there. Hmm. Just gonna turn on my force bubble. And walk up and around these dudes. Because the goat folk are fighting with the Nefali. And the supposed story here is the reason they're fighting is because they are enthralled by the cursed shaman. Hey! That hurt. That also hurt a whole lot. Let's see if I can get around them. Um, I can sprint. My turns. Eight turns. There we go. Still following the river. There's a slumberling across the way. Apparently I see a gold folk, but I don't. I see he's behind me. You come here, I'll just beat you to death. Heal. There we go. God, these guys, they really want me dead, don't they? There we go. Heal back up. I've been restrung. Hells yeah. I gather band practice has been good if you're needing to restring stuff. give you a menacing stare. Need to kill the extras. I have no more ammo for the Masterwork Scoped Carbine. That's unfortunate. Have I learned how to make ammo yet? because I'm in the wrong screen. It's like, why is this not working? I don't believe I've taught myself how to make ammo yet. Then I set myself on fire. That's intelligent of me. At least you're still on fire. Have fun on fire. Let's just force bubble and walk away. Mm. 
I'm just very low right now and about to die again. <laughs> Joe Saturday, hell yeah. Kitty cat's attacking me, or trying to kill me. Let's let cat jump up to me. I'm gonna try and sting it. Got it with my confusing venom. Keep trying to shoot it. Oh, come on. Let me just, with a shotgun. I'm just gonna be powering through all. Oh, I'm out actually. What does Shulk Injectors do again? Okay, so it's that's that's the moving speed one. Going to try and discharge on you. Brings you down to injured. I can stare at you menacingly. At which point I can then sprint. And hopefully only fight with weaker enemies until I can get off the map. That's a lot of weaker enemies. It's okay, they probably just can't hit me. Because they daze me. It's actually difficult for them to do. There's a lot of them! Lord. <laughs> Is my armor busted or something? Nope. I just need better armor. The actual reality of the situation. At least I can pretty easily kill the leeches. Hey, I found a bullet. Sting you. These goat folk are kind of tough. This whole area is kind of tough. Hey, we leveled up though. That's cool. Um, which means now I can go down here and we can get Tinkerer Two. Choose a schematic. Chain laser seems fun. I think I'm gonna get a chain laser. I don't even know what that is, but I'm gonna learn to make one, damn it. I suppose I need to learn it. Learn. I now know how to make chain lasers. Um, and don't have the stuff to make it. But, I now know how to make chain lasers. Does 1d12, what does my gun currently do? Uh, 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 uh. 1d8, yeah, okay, so it's better. It's better than what I currently has. Going to equip these. There you go. Blew you into a couple pieces. A lot of random loot on the ground here. 
This is where I need to be, I think. Yep. Probably, based on the fact that there's a chest here. Um. Council at Gamma Rock? Ooh, is that a new book? I'll have to read that. That was efficient. It's gone both with a grenade. I'm taking the ape for gloves. Bolded carbide dagger, eh? That is indeed better than the carbide dagger. And hold up. I'm going to throw that at you, but I don't want to hit the ape. Fortunately, I do have an ape on my side here. Fortunately, the ape does have nothing to trade. And this horrible goat person killed the ape. Beautiful creature. Rest in peace. Powerful ape. Rip Dinky King. Alright. Um, I love the fact that my grenades can dry up entire rivers. How the fuck am I? <laughs> I'm starting to think I've gone too far. What XP did you give me? Didn't get the chance to see it. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I went too far. Although I did just find a massive upgrade to my armor. And I'm carrying too much to move, just like that. A lot more than I can carry, in fact. Construct you. You think you're okay with un uninstalling? I've taken a break from Cookie Clicker. I'll be going back at some point, but currently I'm taking a break. I'm gonna find things I don't need to have in my inventory. <laughs> How to make you, deconstruct you. Yeah, my I think my armor is just too heavy. I am pretty sure that my armor is just too heavy. I already jumped to where you're at. I can deconstruct you. Same with you. Same with you. None of these are saving me that much weight, though. I'm going to uh, deconstruct McBoom Maker. Rest in peace. Um, I need the Flashbang MK1. I don't even know how to make those anyway.
I have a feeling like the next tile is where we need to be, so. Problem is, I'm still carrying too much shit! Excuse me? Oh, I hit the wrong button. I guess... Wait, lava didn't catch me on fire? I was carrying a small trinket that I didn't know what it was, but it had lava in it, so... Whoops, I probably... It was probably a, um... Oh, I know what it was. It was a chem cell. Whoops. <laughs> um... At least I think I know what it was. Oh shit, we have a bunch of sower seeds. I can detonate them? I guess I can probably set those as bombs. Hey, I can move again. Cool. Ow. The swarm shade tree is destroyed. The sower seed is destroyed. Wait, what destroyed you? I didn't even hit you. Um. Huh. Anyway. All right. Well, let's head, like, down, I guess. So this is where we need to be for this quest. I already have a campfire here. Maybe someone else made a campfire there. Let's cook with that. And... Star apple jam and beetle jerky. Um, that seems really helpful, actually. Whenever you drop below twenty percent HP, you, you HP you heal fifteen to twenty HP. Whenever you use a salve or uber nostrum injector, you get thirty to forty percent. Uh, I think I'm gonna take that. Urist's turret. Urist the tourist's flesh star apple dried porridge. When I go low. A heal. So it's like a death save, basically. We're waiting until morning in the middle of this town. So this is the quest location, as far as I can tell. There should be somebody here. There's corpses everywhere. That or I need to follow this one more tile. One of the two. An engraved artifact. Puzzling artifact. While the expedition of Ushmir the, this, Ushmir the Second lost control of her chariot and drove off a cliff, and by the grace of fate, a group of nearby oozes came to her rescue. For the rest of her life, Ishmir the Second was indebted to the oozes. Um, and then I can figure out what you are. Oh, fuck, I found a combat shoddy. Hell yeah. Now I know how to make a combat shoddy. I'm just going to disassemble the combat shoddy. shoddy. I'm going to take the book, a sheaf of blood-stained goat skin parchment. Sheets of flayed. Okay, so this is a... This is lore, chat. A sheaf of blood-stained goat skin par par parchment. I now confirm upon myself the sovereignty of the artifice of language that other may possess the sight of path along which I lead my thralls. Toward Amaranth, the deathless cry, whence the coven-hoofed children dream themselves into being. Here, Manom, their benefit, their be, be, beficient father, he who wrought his own dream stuff. Amaranth, Manom, fa Amaranth father, Amaranthine dream. Yet feast upon the goat hearts. I will take that. I will deconstruct that rifle. I will examine it. Ooh, I found a carbine. Let's learn to make that. And disassemble it. Well, at the very least, they're committing genocide. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you? Saw header. This robot bears a featherless chrome plate. Uh, 
for face and threads for locomo and treads for locomotion attached to the ends of each of their grooved steel arms spins a rusty rotary saw. All right, cool. How about you? Folk shaman. Where's the guys that I'm looking for? I don't really like how many dudes are right there, so I'm just gonna walk away from that tile real quick and check over here. Okay, so the pathway just ends there. I'm just kind of assuming it's down is where I gotta go. Ow! Oh, oh, you didn't even hit me. Well, I guess that's good. This is gonna take a bit. That was a good amount of damage. There's a saw header f to the north. We'll take those shotgun shells. Actually, hold up. I need to unload my... Oh, never mind. I, I already shot the bullets, so it doesn't matter. I need to unload my gun. Hmm. Start healing. Use that fix-it spray foam, apply it to my cracked full creep mail, and throw a grenade at you. Let's back up. Try and heal up. Go, perfect. Cook from a recipe. Get the XP plus. Can't throw my grenade far enough. Eh, made all of his own seeds explode, which is awesome, actually. I threw grenades at a grenadier and made all of his grenades explode. Serves you right. Let's head south of their map. Where is this guy? Let's just let those guys finish killing each other. And I'm going to discharge my power. Zap. Let's explore everything here real quick, see what's around. Oh. Because I got some lead slugs, which I actually need to read the history of. Now I can make lead slugs. Cool. Um... You need to be uh, disassembled. So now I can just make myself bullets, <laughs> which, you know, would have been really useful to have a while ago because it takes like nothing to, to make them. See, 50 lead slugs. I mean, I don't have unlimited ammo now by any stretch, but a lot more. Let's explore this zone. Okay. Well, let's head south. Well, right next to this guy. Hello, you. I'm gonna sting you. I'm just gonna start shooting. Hit me with his grenade. Hit me with another grenade. And discharge and kill you, probably. Got him. Turn on this. I'd like you dead. 
I'd also like you dead. Enough that I can move back up here and heal. Also, chat, we're kind of lurky. Could I get a round of beers in the chat? It's been about 12 minutes since anybody said anything. I'm sure that you guys are just chilling and enjoying the beauty that is the ambiance of Cud, but always nice to know how many people are listening. Okay, I think we gotta go one tile further down. Yeah, this is it. There's our quest giver right here. So the town is burning. I think that's you. Unless you're just a normal shaman once again. Showing on the music of God. Yeah. No, I just, just, just gotta check in with you guys. Make sure you guys are right. I can sure my internet's still on, you know. Quiet. Ooh, they have a weird artifact. It's a bloody sniper rifle. Ooh. Interesting. Assemble it. But we can now see the smoke from the village below. You discover the village lair of Manom's Soul Drinker. Um, but first I'm going to leave the lair of Manom's Soul Drinker so that I can heal before I assault the lair of Manom's Soul Drinker. Uh, first I gotta kill this guy. I'm going to stare at you menacingly, menacingly which makes you afraid, and then I'm going to beat you a bit, and then I'm going to shoot you. There you go. All right, now that I'm done beating the crap out of you, we're going to move south. So the village is burning. You finish the step, find Manum's soul drinker. Uh, it's not the guy behind me. The guy down on the left, I think. Is there blood in that well? Damn, that is a deep sandstone well full of blood. Ah, purple dude, bottom right. This guy. Manum stands nearly a head taller than his kin, and broader at the shoulders. Great tufts of blood-matted hair, which is braided in tessel. From his head and chin and tattered crimson headdress, hangs from his colossal horns in his swaths before on his bare chest with the furs is scorched skin flayed. He wears a strong ra a sarong wrapped about his wrist and his wool fibers sodden with a foul inky liquid. His face is a vision of madness once the contents of his rupturous crone, a child of fright. Disliked by robots, for ruining the festival of Ut. Oh, that's why there's robots attacking them. I was wondering. I've never seen robots in this area, like, fighting these guys. But this particular playthrough, Manum Soul Drinker is disliked by robots for um, ruining their festival. Apparently. What an ass. All right, so he's tough. But um, not unbeatable. I'm just going to uh, double check my, uh, my grenades. Which is not enough shit. Um, I might actually just sleep grenade him. I can hit you eventually. There you are. All right. Um, let's equip to sleep a stun grenade, or uh, let's. Yeah, let let let's let's equip a stun grass grenade and then just shoot him. I mean, my, that's going to be the strat for the day. Ow. Your bloody arrows tickle. Stop it. There's Mr. Soul Drinker. Soul Sipper would be what I would prefer, but... It's 
throw the grenade? Didn't actually hit him. Somehow. He's guiding him. Okay. Now that he's in melee range, I'm going to give him a menacing stare. Oh. Mental mirror reflects the attack and I become afraid. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> um, I'm going to attempt to sting him. Which does work. And he is now confused. I'd be confused, too, if a random, like, human-esque person uh, pulled out a stinger and stung me with it. And now I'm going to electrocute you because little does he know I've been rubbing a balloon on my head the entire time and we have lots of static electricity. Go back to shooting. Got a crit. Hmm. I can discharge again. Zapping him with more static electricity. All right. Um, it is time to go back into bubble. That is not what I wanted to do. Go back into the bubble. bubble and I want to begin healing. Reload my gun again. Uh, jump into my inventory. Scroll all the way down. Grab me a uh, an acid gas grenade. Equip that. Which I tried to throw past him. Scroll down through here, jump across through over to here. Give me a salve injector, please. Breathing. Um, give myself a salve injector. I'm literally just like standing in my like secret, like bubble shield and just like making myself some drugs. There we go, got him. Um, my reputation with the children of Manum decreased by 200. They already hate me, it's fine. My reputation with robots increased. Yay, robots like me a little bit more. That would actually be really weird having robots on my team for a run. Susan Tingle fades. You're no longer hungry. We whip up a meal. Plus one toughness for the rest of the day. Do a lap around. Explore the whole map. Once we're done with that, we can grab the thingy, because we've completed the quest, although I am now carrying too much to move. How much water do I have? Well, that's part of the problem. You know what? I know where this is. I'm just going to dump some of this water out of my inventory. Short sword, desert rifle I can disassemble. Oh, I have a missile launcher. <laughs> I now um, know how to make missile launchers. I'm going to disassemble that missile launcher for right now and take the raw bore meat. I found strange tubes. Icon looks like a chair. It's actually a rocket launcher. Spoilers. Now I just simply need rockets. Alright, let's go back to where he died. It, um... Ah, I see. I already, I already picked it up. Alright, so I'm going to look at the Amaranthine in prison. Just for reference, for anybody playing Caves of Cud, if you're doing this quest, this is a spoiler. If you equip it, it will kill you. <laughs> a starless triangular prism. Black glass. I'm going to recall the story. Hmm. Yuri, the jeweler, mumbled with a stone in his hand. Lapis from the Shore of Songs, said the boy. 
Hmm? Said Yuri. Jasper. Red Rock. Yuri frowned his brow. But no. Don't heed the tale of every thirsty fool boy. The boy seemed to ignore him and pointed at a small, dusky shard the jeweler kept in a file, high on the shelf of a pine cabinet. Did it madden him, Prem, truly? Yuri glanced over his shoulder at the black glass and sighed. Indeed, boy, though I've heard it told all the kings are mad, who else would think themselves fit to rule as eaters? From which shore was it culled? asked the boy. None of this world, says the tinker, or the jeweler. Do you know the tale of Patal? No, the boy lied. When the eaters lived in the scourged stars, they lived worlds of a thousand different beings. Those beings likewise visited our world. Several of those beings assembled a coven that spanned the, the firmament, and they welcomed the eaters into its fold. For ages, civilizations of the coven knew kindness and prosperity, and all the reaches of the clustered cosmos did. The domain of the coven stretched. One of its beings of the coven hailed from a faraway darkling star. With its, with its mind, it could fold fabric of space and time. As you or I might not fold a supper cloth to the coven that was known as Patho. For reasons we cannot fathom, civilizations of the stars in, indicted Patho. It was the will of the Coven that it be held in our very world. The bondage of the Eaters, they contrived for Pitho a prism, for which it could not fold itself away. There, Pitho languished for eons, and time the Eaters left, were perished, and the Coven was forgotten to our world. Yet here, Pitho remains, imprisoned. So what of the black prism? Asked the boy. A handful of black sand drawn from the shores of a dreary rock that spun about Pitho's star. The sands were fired in the burning glasses of the star and cooled suddenly when Pitho appeared in Cud. The moment, hence, it said that Pitho bestowed the glass into an ancient custodian of its prison so that the man might free it once the man had chosen to wield the glass, it became too mantle with its amaranthine hue. You see, those that peer through its, its faces are given to fits of madness, for they see the world by the light of Pateau's star. They see themselves as Pateau does. Will it become, what will become of it? Does it frighten you, said the boy. Immensely, said the jeweler. I mean to see it destroyed, but it bears the properties of no earthly glass, and my guild would never forgive me if I forsook the chance to study it first. It, se it was the jewelers who bartered the thing from the Pram's grieving sister. Now, enough of its this splendor. You are to study still. Yuri lifted another stone. The boy's eyes stayed fixed on the prism. And uh, then, you know, became it, it became caught again by the person who we just killed. All right, back to the village. Time to go find Warden Indrix. Is Madame dead? Have you recovered the talisman? Yes, I possess the prison. That's so. Only a ferocious warrior could have slain Madame. He must be such a warrior. Now hand over the prism. And choose your reward. He takes the, uh, the amaranthine prism. And... I kind of don't want any of these. Let's <laughs> um, take that. And we level up. And we completed another quest. And you know what? Or Nindrix? Actually, hold up. Who who hates you? Ah, that's fine. Goat folk already hate me. Your thirst is mine. My water is yours. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to give him the secret of the location of Bela. And you are going to give me a secret. Location of Sapna. The Goat Folk Village. Hmm. Would you teach me your ways? Now I know Intimidate. I'm going to give you a secret of a Snapjaw Fort. And, uh, gives me one more secret. I now know about another Goat Folk location. Excellent. Live and drink. Live and drink. Really? I mean, I, I would say follow it. I, I would say play it, rather. Um, this is... If you're even remotely interested in games like Cataclysm, CDDA, Dwarf Fortress, um, or any... Or ADOM, or any traditional roguelike or weird world simulation, this is kind of a need to play. Even though, yeah, it, it can be kind of difficult to um, parse. It is an excellent... But chat, that is us for the day. Uh, next time we play this, which will be Saturday, I think I'm going to do a full day of this game again on Saturday. Um, we are going to um, hope that they don't break it with their minor hotfix Friday. Hopefully they don't break the save. Um, we are going to go try and find some warm clothing. And then go to Bethesda and discover the land of Skyrim. At least I think that's what's in the game. But I, we're going to go to Bethesda and discover uh, the trolls with hatchets that can one-shot you. Is what we're actually going to go find. And then die a bunch. It's probably what we're going to do. Um, but uh, no, seriously. Then uh, I won't tell you about the mod for Cud that just makes it into Dwarf Fortress then. But no, seriously, like you you should try cut. Part of the part of the reason I'm doing this playthrough and trying to get all of this footage of this game is because I really want to do a video on it, similar to the all, all the other interviews I've done. But I want to actually see the end game content before I can do that. You know. So. All of this being said, though, seriously, chat, thanks, everybody, for the um, absolutely ludicrously stupid, insane, crazy, dumb, immense amounts of support today. I don't think I over-exaggerated that. Um, you guys are bonkers. <laughs> um, and uh, try it again, be like... Or I'll use it for you. Um, but uh, we're, we're, we're going to call it here. So I need to find somebody to send you guys to. But, you know, if, if you feel like I haven't had enough support today, I have a Patreon where you can support the stream directly. And uh, if, if you want to go watch Dwarf Fortress, there's a lot on the YouTube channel. There's also going to be a lot of cud pretty soon. Got a lot of VODs to put up. Um... But let's just find somebody I can send you guys over to. Somebody who's cool, who's entertaining, somebody I like, ideally. If I didn't like them, I wouldn't send you to them. <laughs> um, who happens to be on? Kind of nobody. Is anybody playing this? Anybody playing this? I doubt it, but sometimes there is. If there is somebody playing this, I'll send you guys over to them. Uh, nobody I recognize. Um. I think he usually has, um, follower only on, so don't worry about talking to him if he 